Hello, 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 sellers. Come on in, come on in. I'm Kathy and I love to be selling. Oh, oh my, there is a huge, huge, huge change coming. Uh, and it's coming on May 15th, 2024. And it's for eBay's, I have my props with me, eBay's calculated shipping. And here's my shipping prop. So eBay's calculated shipping. And this is what we're going to, so eBay's calculated shipping. Uh, we're going to talk about it so that you know what's going on because already I'm seeing a lot of wrong information and there's a lot to it. There's more to it than whether you do calculated shipping or you don't do calculated shipping. Hi, Vicki. Always good to see you live. And those of you who join me live on my Facebook business page, I love to be selling. Thank you so much. Uh, and those of you that watch my YouTube channel, um, Kathy Terrell, I love to be selling. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to all of you that subscribe and leave me comments. I really appreciate it. Um, and those of you on my podcast, um, you know, I just celebrated 100,000 downloads. Kathy Terrell, I love to be selling. Thank you, podcast people. But let's talk about this. Um, because whether you do calculated shipping or not, you should know about it. Um, and for whatever reason, eBay is not putting this on the community boards, the announcement page. Hi, Marianne. Yet. <laughs> I'm not sure why but they're not um so a letter went out and it went out last week and if you got it it would be in your ebay messages okay so when you see things announced um you're going to always be checking the uh announcement board community board on ebay um once you're logged into ebay um and the other place you're going to check is your ebay messages and one of my clients got it, so I was able to read it. I've seen other people post it. I'm going to read it to you. So hang on a second. Let me just get it. So this is what the letter said. Now, eBay claimed, in case, because a lot of people um, were saying to me, but Kathy, I didn't get it. I didn't get it, and I use calculated shipping. So that's why I'm saying is you need to know what's in it, even if you didn't get it. I know sellers that have free shipping and got it. I know sellers that do all calculated shipping. They did get it. I know sellers that don't do calculated shipping and they got it. One of my clients does no calculated shipping and she got it. So it's like, okay, eBay. So let's read this letter. Um, so, and this just went out last week and today is April 22nd. So in the letter, um, which was a message in eBay messages from eBay saying, we're reaching out to let you know that starting May 15th, your listings that display calculated shipping will default, I'm underlining that, to showing eBay labeled discounted shipping rates. The new default, and in case you don't understand that, what default means is it does that without you choosing something else. So for instance, when you log into eBay, default search is best match. So what it's saying is if you do not make a choice and you do calculated shipping, as of May 15th, eBay is going to default you to the eBay label discounted shipping rate. And I'm going to explain why that's important to understand in just a second. The new default rate will apply to all of your active and future listings that offer calculated shipping. So again, only listings with calculated shipping. Listings with free or flat rate shipping won't be affected. We're making these changes to help your listings attract more buyers by offering a lower shipping cost to get the discounted rate that will be displayed on your listings. Make sure to purchase your labels through eBay labels because that's the discounted rate. If you want to opt out of this change, just let us know here by May 13th. If you got this message in your eBay, there was a clickable link and you clicked it because I did this for a client. Um, you clicked it and you got a confirmation from eBay saying you're opted out. Okay. So if this is in your eBay messages and you want to opt out, there's a clickable link in the eBay messages. If you didn't get the message, I'm going to tell you how to opt out. I'm just saying it was in there. And you do get a confirmation. There's like a little pop-up window that says you're opted out. So you, when you do it, you know that you've opted out. Okay, so hang on. Let's keep reading. Um, you can also switch back to showing standard rates at any time after May 15th through your shipping discount settings. So you have control, but you have to go into your shipping 
discount settings, and I'm going to explain to you where they are. Please note, this change will only apply to sellers receiving this email. Hmm. Thanks for being part of the eBay community. Okay. So if you use calculated shipping, if we're going to do scenario number one, and you got the message, and you want to offer the discounted rate to your buyers, leave it alone. It'll default to it. And what that is, just so you understand, and, and, and test this for yourself. I do this. So when you're printing your labels through eBay, and I use eBay shipping, I like it. Um, when you print your labels through eBay, there's always a little drop down. Check out what the rates are. Okay, look, for me, I'm always on my desktop when I'm printing labels. So I look to the right and I see what the buyer paid. So let's say the buyer paid $7. And then I click to print my label and my label is $5. Okay, I'm getting the discounted rate. They're paying full price retail. That was that they were charged. And then I'm paying a dollar or two less. I find typically for my items, my items are mostly under two pounds. It's like a dollar or two. Every now and then it's like three dollars, but it's basically a buck or two. Um, I don't have a problem with that. I figure it's helping to pay my final value fee and it's helping to pay promoter listing. Because what I find is that a lot of my sales are coming through promoter listings, more than 5%. I mean, more than 50%. Okay. So a buck or two, three bucks, even four bucks. I don't have a problem with that. I don't feel like that is that a line. I feel like that is fair and equitable. If you want to pass the discount, so let's say you too, your items are mostly under two or three pounds, but you want to pass the discount to your shoppers, good. Then you'll let the default go into place, or I'm going to show you how to pick it. Just hang on a second. And you can do that. Now, my word of warning on that is, so let's say they are paying, I'm just going to round it up, $6 shipping, and you are paying $6 shipping. So they paid 6 and then you're paying six to print the label. You are actually losing money on your shipping. And it's because eBay charges the final value fee for your item, which is around 13, 14%, depending on the category. Electronics is much lower, but for everything else, it's pretty much around 12, 13. You're actually losing money because you're paying your final value fee. However, just food for thought, if you have killer margins, like you're making 80, 90%, to lose a buck or two on shipping, to be competitive. So let's say you're in a very competitive category. Um, let's say, you know, being able to offer shipping that's $5 or $6 instead of nine or 10 is going to really help you to be able to stand out. Then consider doing it because the money that you're making from the item is offsetting the few bucks that you lose on shipping. Okay, so that would be a case where I go, okay, I'm willing to lose a bit on the shipping because it's going to help me to stand out. I'm thinking of categories that are super, super, super competitive and barcoded. Um, I'm thinking perhaps things like um, uh, cell phone accessories could be one, right? Because everybody's looking at the cell phone case for this kind of iPhone or Galaxy or Samsung. Um, so to offer that might be a good thing. Okay. And remember, this only applies to calculated does not apply to free shipping, okay? Or if you're doing the flat rate, you're offering priority medium flat rate box or something like that, okay? So I could see in highly competitive category, uh, perhaps the sneakers you sell or the shoes you sell or the jewelry you sell is a very competitive category. There's lots of people selling Pandora or there's lots of people selling the Disney this or that. So saving a few bucks might help you get more sales and because you make so much money on the item, you're willing to do it, okay? So those are the people that you go, yes, I don't have a problem passing my discount or no way, Kathy, do I wanna pass my discount. If you got the letter, you can opt out, you just click. If you didn't get the letter, I'm gonna show you how to go into your account settings and, and change it. Next scenario, you sell heavy things. Perhaps you're selling lamps or vases or you do collectibles that are, that are heavy, that are five pounds, six pounds. China, glassware, just things that are heavy. It might be toys. They're heavy toys, right? It's, it's trains. These train sets, they're 10 pounds. The interesting thing, and this is what the shipping team told me, is 
the rates that they've been getting lately, and I, I've used FedEx a few times, not a lot, so I'm not like the FedEx lady. Um, I have used UPS several times, um, is they're getting really, really good rates now on UPS and FedEx. So if you're using the calculator, okay, is they could be getting charged, I'm making up numbers, 30 bucks for the item, for the weight that it is, and where it's going, remember zone pricing, but you're only paying 15, where there's a big difference. You're making, you know, you're literally the shipping, that what you're paying is half of what they're being charged. There's a big price difference. If you find that you sell a lot of heavy stuff, then you might want to offer that to them. Okay, so food for thought on the heavy stuff, because again, it might help you to stand out. Like if you have some things and they just haven't been selling, part of it could be the shipping because people do take a look at the shipping and see what's going on. Now, if you have defaulted to the discounted rate being offered your buyers, you go, but Kathy, you know, I am losing a little bit of money or I would like to be able to pay for the, you know, some shipping supplies. I'd like to put like a little extra back in. You can do that. And this is how you do it. So you go, yes, eBay, I will use the default settings. And that's on your shipping preferences. And I'm going to explain to you where it is. Then the way you add, and eBay calls it handling cost, is in your business policies. Okay. So once it's set up, so let's say you have your business policy for calculated shipping, then you would hop over, you edit your business policy, and you can add a handling cost. And if you didn't know this, only on calculated can you add a handling cost it and i checked this with several people it does not show to your buyer so for instance if the shipping costs 18 dollars um and you add in four dollars for handling costs to do shipping and maybe a little bit of money towards your final value fees and your promoter listing okay or five dollars because they're still saving you know let's say it's one where it's half so they'd still be saving like 10 bucks they will see what that lump price is, okay? They're not going to see that they're paying the shipping plus a handling cost, so don't be concerned about that. So if you're like, Kathy, I have no idea what my shipping settings are, this is what you do. And again, I'm on desktop, so you're going to need to be on desktop to do this or laptop. So you log into your eBay. In the upper left-hand corner, it'll say hi and your name, okay? Whatever name eBay has for you. eBay has for me, Catherine. So it says, hi, Catherine upper left-hand corner in incredibly small print. Click it. When you do that, I'm going to do this online, so hang on a second. When you do that, you will get a drop-down. It says account settings and sign out. And you're going to click account settings. When you click account settings, you will see my eBay and you're gonna see several columns of personal information, payment information, all kinds of stuff. Look at the selling comment, a column, all the way to the left. It says shipping preferences. Okay, you can look at everything else, but what we're focusing on right now is shipping preferences. Once you get there, you're going to see you've got eBay international shipping. You got a bunch of stuff. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And I'm going to show you what you're looking for. So hang on a second. Uh, let me make sure it's, I've got the right screen. So hang on. Do, 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 do. No. This is it. Okay. Shipping preferences. Now see down here, bottom left, shipping discount settings. Shipping discount settings. And even if you've opted out, you want to come here and make sure it takes, okay? Click edit. And I just want to make sure the screen shows. Good, it did show. These are your choices. And just for you to know, you can update these and change these anytime you want. eBay does say it can take up to 24 hours. And once you change them, it impacts all your active listings. Okay. eBay's discounted rates. 
and this is what they're defaulting you to if you've got that message and i or i encourage you to double check and make sure that you're not defaulted into this i actually checked for a seller and they were defaulted into this again i'm not pointing fingers at ebay it might have been there all the time um, but they were defaulted into this and when you are it's the top setting offer buyers are negotiated carrier rates on all listings with calculated shipping and then purchase ebay labels once you get an order because they're going to be getting charged six dollars seven dollars um, for the shipping and then you're going to be getting charged the same for the label okay uh custom discounted rates now what you can do again because you don't want to give exactly you know what ebay's charging you you want to build a little something in and you don't want to do the handling um handling cost you can offer them a custom percentage off the standard carrier rate so they get 10 percent off or 20 percent off okay and then you pay the amount discounted okay so they're going to be getting charged a discount of the rate but you're still going to be paying um you know the rate the rate that, that ebay is charging so you're giving them let's say it's a six dollar label they're only paying four dollars for the label but you're going to be paying six dollars okay so you're eating part of it um a standard rate without a discount no i don't want to give my shoppers a discount at all okay that's the choices that you have and again once you select if you want to pass the discount you can add a handling cost into your um business policy they're going to default people to this they say it was just the people that got the message i'm not saying anything except if i do calculated shipping and if i didn't get the message on may 15th which is when this is going into effect i am going to be checking my, my listings, I'm going to be checking my shipping preferences in my account settings to make sure it's what I selected. Um, and I encourage you to do the same. Even if you opted out, I am also going to be going onto my um, account preferences and I'm going to be checking, hang on just a second, and I'm going to be checking to make sure it is what I want. And remember, if you want to pass the discount so let's say maybe sales are a little slow or you're in a very you know competitive category you know there's a lot of different things that could be going on for your selling realize it changes within 24 hours so if you want to try it like okay ebay um you want me to try this you want me to pass on the discount i'll do it you know we'll see if this is gonna you know increase the sales i'm totally willing to try this and you try it because you can go into your account preference and change it back um, it is a little complicated. I did cover a lot. And what I've done for you is I've got a free guide that's all about the changes um, with the calculated shipping and the deadlines and my suggestions and what your choices are. And it's the insider's guide to eBay's new calculated shipping update. It's free. It's on my website. I love to be selling.com and grab it. Um, because again, you know, you can watch this video. Um, you know, you're going to have questions and you grab the guide because I go into great, great, great detail explaining each choice that you have um, and make the choice that's best for you. You know, people are going to be saying a lot of different things is if the sales are a little slow, maybe I do want to pass that discount. You know, I'm yes, I'm going to lose maybe a couple of bucks by offering the discount, but I have really good margins. I have 60, 70 you know, 80% margins, I do really well, you know, my things cost a few dollars and I'm able to sell them for 30, 40, $50. I can absorb it. And maybe that's going to bring me some more traffic. Let me try. Let me see what works for me. It's a way to pass a discount, to be competitive, especially for people that don't have a store. Because with a store, we've got things like promotions manager, we can offer discounts, we can run sales, we've got coupons. You know, somebody without a store doesn't have that. And this can be a way for them to stand out. The other thing is that you might be shipping some very heavy things um, and you're willing to pass, you know, part of the discount to them. Okay. And then remember, if you do do the discount, um, you can always then go over to your business policy and add a handling cost. This is going into effect on the 15th. Oh, and one last thing too, if you are passing the discount, please, 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 please remember so you don't go into sticker shock when you get bills from eBay, is that when you do that, you are charged a final value fee on shipping so keep that in mind because of course i'm here to cheer you on i'm on your side i'm going to be making money 
I want you to make the best money possible. And part of that's being attractive. And if giving people a bit of a deal on shipping is going to help me to get more sales, because think about this, if giving them a deal on the shipping increases my sales by $100 a month, and maybe I'm having to eat it on $20 worth of shipping, I'm still coming out ahead by an extra 80 or 90. And that's why sometimes testing things to see what's right, um, right for me, for my business, for my selling, um, and see what's right for me. If I'm like, no, 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 you know, my margins are really tight. I'm not going to be passing the discount. Um, you know, that's, that's the right choice for you. And you might think, you know what, this whole calculated thing um, is a pain. <laughs> and I'm going to do free shipping. Because <laughs> that could be a solution. And I discuss that in the calculated shipping guide too. So do grab that. It's free. It's my gift to you. Uh, Vicki said, I sold something this morning. They paid almost $7 excuse me, I'm going to assume you said more than that, $7 more than I paid. The weight and the measurements were accurate. Should I refund some? Vicki, that's totally up to you. You do what you feel is best and fair um, and realize too that you did the final value fee on that. So factor that in um, when you're considering giving um, a refund. But always take a look at that. I'm always checking the drop down. <clears throat> I'm always checking to see, you know, what I'm paying on shipping and what my customers are getting charged. Um, Ah, Vicki's saying I didn't get the message. I use calculated shipping. So definitely grab the guide, Vicki, and read through it so that you're making the best choices. And then go into your account settings and see what it's defaulted to. Um, hi, Marianne. So great to see you. But you guys do grab the guide. It's going to really, really help you. The changes go into effect on the 15th. So you've got plenty of time to look at this. I do encourage you over the next few weeks as you're packing your sales and yay for sales, look at what you're paying for your label. And look at what your buyers are being charged, because that's going to help you a lot in making your decision. Again, it's good to listen to everybody, but everybody's just, you know situation is different. Some of us sell very light things, like a lot of people sell pins and jewelry, you know, and other people are selling heavier things. Um, and even things in the four, five, six pound range, which can be a lot of things. That's a lot of toys. That's a lot of puzzles, some home decor. Take a look what the prices are. It also impacts where you are in the United States. I'm in New York. So when I'm shipping to California, it can be quite a chunk of change as opposed to when I'm just shipping in the immediate area. But grab the insider guide to new calculated shipping updates so you don't get thrown. So if all of a sudden you're defaulted and you're passing the discount to your buyers, you understand what happened. You know where to go in your account settings so you can go back to not passing the discount to your buyers unless you want to, okay? But be aware of this. This is a big change. It changes the default setting for your shipping. And that's a big change and you need to be aware of that, okay? Again, for people with calculated shipping. So grab my insider's guide to eBay's new calculated shipping update. It's free, free, free. It'll walk you right through it, explains all the scenarios. I've got screenshots so you know where to go and enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Kathy, and I love to be selling. Bye-bye, everybody.